when one says Asia or Asian, it actually means so many different things. I am what you would call Issei Japanese, which is first generation Japanese. Half a day. That's hello and tomorrow, the language that we speak on Guam. I'm Janice Seudi from the Chief Data Office, and I'm a Pacific Islander. I am originally from the city of Lahore in Pakistan. My dad is 100% Pakistani. My mom is half Burmese and half Pakistani. Though I was uh, born in the U.S., I was uh, raised in a very tight community, all from South Asia. My family and I come from India in a state called Gujarat. The great city of Gujarat is known for its warm hospitality, its sweet food. I was born in Saigon, Vietnam, and I came to America with my parents and my siblings when I was very young. I am from South India, which is southern part of India, and I have the Tamil language and a Hindu culture. How do I celebrate my ancestry? Uh, first and foremost, go back to India a lot and always take some friends with me, which is always a lot of fun to introduce India to them from a, an Indian's point of view. My grandfather started the largest spice trading marketplace in India. And so uh, I love to stay connected to the marketplace and what's happening with the business that my great grandfather started a long time ago. One of the greatest gifts that I have in terms of staying connected with my family ancestry is my language. I'm very blessed to be fluent in the Japanese language. We had the opportunity to take our kids back to Pakistan two years ago to celebrate my cousin's daughter's wedding and it provided an incredible connection for my kids and family back to their roots. I connect with my family ancestry in a really big way around the Lunar New Year. The Vietnamese New Year is called Thet and that holiday is the biggest in the Vietnamese culture. As you can see, I'm wearing the traditional island wear. Traditionally, you would see people on Guam wearing this to work and I'm wearing necklaces that were made on Guam. These are seeds or shells found on Guam and it is a typical pastime of young adults or children to make this for a family. Vietnamese food is my favorite. There are so many different dishes that I like. My favorite is bánh xèo. It's crepes filled with vegetables, pork, and shrimp. It's delicious. I wake up in the morning with meditation, which is a very critical aspect of the Indian diaspora. And then with a wonderful cup of traditional South Indian filter coffee. Throughout the day, if you're visiting a Pakistani household, it might not be uncommon that you would consume tea six to seven times a day. My mom made sure that we, we still continue to eat Japanese food. She had to make a lot of the things from scratch, and that was really to keep our traditions and connections alive with the Japanese culture the best she could through food. What's my favorite cultural tradition? Fiestas. Fiestas is one big party. We gather together, it's all about the family, it's all about fun, and what do we love to do? Eat, of course. Diwali is phenomenal because it's about light, it's about a lot of fun, it's about like dress, it's about like, the food we eat, and it's about the entire tradition of the day and then meeting with friends and celebrating with them. I would say my favorite uh, traditions are uh, when we take a moment to celebrate key milestones and it really is an opportunity to bring everyone together. It is the month of Ramadan. Uh, it's a month of fasting so for 30 days Muslims around the world abstain from drinking or eating anything from sunrise to sunset. My dad always wanted to go to university here in the States and he was never able to get in. But I'll never forget the day that I received the big envelope from UCLA and um, that was probably the first time I saw my dad cry. So one thing you may not know uh, are the roots of mathematics actually stem from India. Things like the decimal system, the number zero, pi, infinity, all came from Indian origin. There is a very strong tradition around poetry in Pakistan. So poetry is, you know, woven into the cultural fabric of uh, uh, literature. Guam is a matriarchal society. What that means is the focus is on mothers, family, and children. 
The needs of the family are much more important than the individual needs. My culture tells me when I come to work is that I really focus on how you do the work, but not about just the final outcome. So focus a lot more and enjoy the journey as much as you obsess about the final result. There's so much more that I still need to discover. And I love it because every part is so incredibly different. The language is different, the food is different, the people are different, but they all have uh, one thing in common is that they're all very welcoming. To learn more about AT&T, subscribe to this channel, visit the AT&T Newsroom, or watch more videos in the playlist seen here.